Welcome to Nucanic today here in Nucanic. We have a 2014 Chevy Cruze and on the Chevy Cruze I'm going to show you how to replace your combination switches that are behind the steering wheel. We have our combination switch over here that's for our turn indicator, high beam headlight and it's got the menu options in it for our controls there. And then you have the one that's on the uh, right side which is for your windshield wiper and uh, it's just your windshield wiper controls. So they're two separate units and we can replace them without removing the whole steering wheel or anything like that. We just need to pop a couple covers off. Um, this side is a bit easier than doing the other side. So I'm going to show you how to do the other side and you'll just repeat that process if you need to replace this side's combination switch. So with our, um, to gain access, the best is, see this has a telescoping steering wheel. So we want more space so we just unlock our steering wheel and then pull it forward and if you push it down it gives you some extra space then we need to open up this clamshell portion which is just you can just pull it up and now we have it up and see this little collar is going to get stuck for us to be able to remove this so you turn your steering wheel a 90 degree to the, the left and we have a seven millimeter um, bolt right here that we're going to remove so we have that bolt removed and with that bolt removed we'll get enough space to be able to easily pull this down a little bit to be able to get the tab and release this and pull this out. There is one more bolt on the bottom if you want to remove it to get even more space, but it's not really necessary. One other thing, we have the electric connector that comes to the back here. We just need to press the tab. It's on the inside, so the center shaft of the steering wheel, um, to press that tab and pull it out to unlock it. Right, And then we have a tab up here on the top and we have one on the bottom. So with a small screwdriver, locate the tab on the bottom, then depress one on the top. There we go. So once you find the tab there on the bottom, like I said, it'll be a little bit easier if you remove that bottom bolt. But we found the tab, we've unlocked it, tab on the top, and now we can just remove this whole unit out to replace it if we need to replace it. And then you would take your new unit, and we go in the reverse option, it's a bit easier, just going to line it up and be able to press it in. Hear that lock motion, so it's locked on, and then be able to make that connection. Now if you need to replace the other side, the other side's a little bit easier. You don't need to remove a seven millimeter bolt right here. You can pop off another little cover that goes around the um, key lock cylinder and you just pop that off and then you have full access to be able to remove that one. But it's the same process, same electric type connector on the back. So when you're done, make sure you put your uh, number seven millimeter bolt back in here and then just clamp the clamshell back together. And that would be how you'd replace your combination switches on your 2014 Chevy Cruze. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.